This video is brought to you by Regipol America, the inventors of recycled rubber for sports and fitness surfaces. For more information, visit regipol.com. It was the trade show grand opening today, and we've got all the action from the show floor coming right up on this episode of Inside ABC Orlando. Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Inside ABC Orlando. The day began with the seminars, but the story of the day was the trade show grand opening. Thousands of people from all over the United States, all over the world, flocked to the trade show floor to see the exhibitors and try out the latest and greatest fitness equipment. Now if you're watching this and you happen to miss out on the action, there's still plenty of time tomorrow and we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, let's go to the trade show floor with today's special guest. Alright, I'm happy to be joined now by Sam Cayucci. He is the founder of the Sales Huddle Group and he was one of our speakers this morning, gave an insightful presentation on selling to the millennial generation. So Sam, it's a really interesting topic, so many millennials in the workforce today, but you kind of say they're not always prepared as they should be. Yeah, I mean, I think a big challenge today for not only clubs and training centers and facilities is making sure your people are prepared for the job that they're going to perform, right? As more and more people come into the workforce, more and more people are looking for jobs, uh, it's become a greater responsibility for facilities and companies and clubs to make sure their people are prepared, right? If they're not prepared, they turn over, they move on, they go elsewhere, um, guest impact occurs. So we work really hard and we presented a lot today and a lot of great takeaways on how do you better prepare people, especially from the millennial generation that a lot of people are scared of or not aware <laughs> about, right? Right, so we don't want to give away your whole presentation, but maybe what's one, of, one or two little tips quickly for the people who are just watching this for the first time? It, training is important, and you know, as more and more students come out and come into the workforce, and they're looking for jobs, and uh, they're not always getting the training and the experiences they need coming out of universities, right, with so many programs, Companies need to do a better job making it a staple of what they do to prepare people. Absolutely. Good stuff from Sam. Now, we're here uh, on the trade show floor. It's been a busy day, and we always like to hear what people are kind of looking for as they walk around. So what are you looking for as you walk the show floor? Yeah, you know, I think that what you see in a booth at a show like this, it, in a lot of ways, shows you where the industry is going. And I try to walk the floor and kind of, at a broader level, see what's happening, what's being sold, what's moving. And uh, also, you know, the salespeople on the floor give you a really good indication on where, where the market's moving. And uh, you've seen all good things today, right? All good, absolutely, <laughs> it's phenomenal. All right, that's Sam Cayucci. You can find more about him, uh, look up the Sales Huddle Group. He's the founder, he's the man, and we'll send it back to the studio. So while the trade show floor was hopping, it wasn't the only action going on at ABC. Thursday wrapped up with the networking reception at BB King's Blues Club at Point Orlando. And now let's take a look at Friday's events. The day starts bright and early with the early morning workouts on the trade show floor. Those run from 7 to 8.30. It's open to all attendees. I know I'll be there getting my workout in, so join me. It's a great way to test out the equipment, get your hands on, see it for yourself. And that's from 7 to 8.30. Then the big story of the day, the keynote address by Bill Taylor. Bill is the founding editor of business magazine Fast Company. And join us for his uh, keynote address, Business as if People Mattered, a practically radical approach to managing people. I've heard Bill speak a few times. He's a dynamic speaker, so join us for that on Friday. Now his speech wraps up at 11.30 a.m. and immediately following that, the trade show is open again, so you didn't get a chance to meet everybody or you didn't get a chance to see everything you wanted to see on Thursday. Go back for more on Friday. Trade show runs from 11.30 to 3.30 p.m. So another action-packed day on Friday, but that'll do it for this episode of Inside ABC Orlando. We encourage you to keep sending in your tweets, hashtag ABC Orlando. We love to see what's going, around, going on around the show. And we'd like to once again thank Regipol America for sponsoring these videos. That'll do it for us. We'll see you next time on Inside ABC Orlando. Welcome to this episode of Inside ABC Orlando. The, the day, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't the only action going on here today. What was the line? I think there's a stopping point in there. What's up? Thanks to Reggae Pole America. See you tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow. We got a new episode tomorrow. That's all.